Six Letter to Earth. I am Kyle, and welcome back. Uh, I apologize for missing last week. Today is February 26, 2022, when this will be released. I am recording it on the 25th. So, welcome to episode 12 um, of Six Letter to Earth. It's the fight against division. Um, essentially, I'm just going to give a little story of what's happened this past week and how... Uh, the evil side, the side that wants to divide and make you forget about the true true um, path um, of light and positivity. How they kind of trick your mind into falling for things. Um, and that's essentially what my story is going to be about today. So, anyways, um, this is Sixth Letter to Earth. The sixth letter is F. We promote the F word here. Um... And I'll tell you that afterwards. So, uh, we allow, we promote the F word here, um, while allowing everyone to have their own opinions in a respectful manner. Uh, I want to create a positive environment. Um, I want to create a positive environment where, uh, we can, um, not be political, not be dividing each other up, and, uh, not, um, you know, I don't want to be, um, saying things to my fellow man that might upset him. Um, maybe some things might eventually have to be said. Who knows? I'm not going to be the one to judge that. Um, for me, uh, for me, my thing is I am here to um, promote the, the sixth letter to Earth. Uh, and I'm, I want to create a positive environment. One where we're not divisive. One where we can show love. And I really feel I may have drifted away if I had continued on with the episode I was going to do. Um, this episode I was planning on doing Is Government Necessary? Um, I don't feel like that's a particularly helpful episode at this moment. And, uh, I, um, it, wouldn't, it might have gone divisive. So, and some of the topics I talk about could get divisive. Um, I'm going to try to make it not so much so. Um, so, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes through there. Um, so that's, so I decided that's not the episode I'm going to do. And this past week, um, I kind of was, I'm, I'm going to get into the story of it l- later on. So, um, and the one episode you didn't hear, episode 11, which I will replay at some point in time this week for everyone, um, it's a good one. It's about keeping your uh, meat capsules alive, keeping your body alive. This is some health tips, and I also do a little follow up on the uh, on the Freedom Convoy that I did in episode ten, the episode there. So, um, anyways, but on that episode, I had announced that I'm doing it differently. You might notice I'm talking to you from the past right now. If you're watching this on Twitch, you might notice that I am not talking right now. Um, that's because the new way I'm doing is I'm pre-recording the episode. However, if you watch the premiere episode, you can ask questions, raise your hand, and I'll stop the podcast and we can answer the question. Um, I ask, do it respectfully, and do it respectfully not to troll or anything like that. I would like it to be done respectfully, but the raise hand command is so then we can pause the episode and we can discuss the question pertaining to this episode. I was finding that, and if you didn't listen to the last episode, I'm just going to quickly explain here. Um, I was finding, I was noticing that some people may have had questions about particular parts of my topics, and I hadn't, um, I, 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 I was saving it all for the end and leaving a subscriber chat on, but I realized if someone wants to discuss something right at that moment, they might have just popped in and heard a little bit of my podcast, um, they may not know exactly what is going on. They may not exactly understand. Like, okay, so what? We have issues. He just doesn't want to debate it. And I get people don't want to save it till the end. So that's why I decided I'm going to do this. You can spend your channel points. I'm, I'm going to pro- I'll see how, I'll see at the price it is right now. But I'm thinking I'm going to be setting it up at a decent price. So then uh, we can all get channel points and we can all, um, we all get channel points and use them properly, and so then it's, I know it's people who are actually earning 
channel points, not just some people who quickly get here and have some little bit of channel points. So um, that's where I'm going to probably bump it up. So if you have a serious question that you want to ask on there, I will give the opportunity for you to do that. Or we could debate it. Like You could keep chatting, but I'm not going to stop the podcast. I'll type as much as I can. But if I find something in past episodes that I don't like, I'll pause and I'll clarify it myself. So, anyways, other than that, so I'll be pre-recording the episodes, playing them on Saturdays. I'm going to be trying to, um, I'm going to re-listen to the past episodes. Um, so that even includes, I'm going to go back to episode 9. I'm going to do episode 9, 10, 11, and I'll redo 12. I'm not going to redo 12. Um, in the next week, because you already get episode 12. I'm going to redo 9 and 10, because I don't think they were done very well. And... Yeah, so episode nine, so yeah, episode nine, ten, and eleven will all be done on Twitch, so you guys can stay tuned for that, and we can have live discussion on any of the podcasts that I talk about. So there we go. So um, from there, we will be doing that. Um, so I'm hoping to do that every second day. I'm hoping to listen to one episode. We can have our discussion. Um, I'm not sure exactly what time I'm going to do it at. I'm going to do it late at night or early in the morning or. Just randomly throughout the day. Uh, it will get easier though. Since I am probably going to do it during the day. Um, after Tuesday. Because um, on the days that my son has school. So I'll have to figure out that. So we will be doing more things during the day. And I will have a more regular schedule coming up. Um, once he gets back in school and everything like that. It's going to be like an every second day thing. Um, but we're going to go from there. So. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I just got that news before I typed up this episode. So, that my son will be going back to school. So, uh, I just want to let everyone know. I also have some exciting things planned. I was hoping to do it this episode. Unfortunately, timing just didn't quite work out. Um, but I'm hoping to get some interviews. Um, I'm actually got uh, at least two lined up right now that are excited. I have one that's going to be about building community and someone that I'm pretty sure a lot of people on my Twitch may already know. Um, and I, he'll be the first interview. And then the second one is going to be Revisiting Demons and Aliens. Um, that part, that episode. So I'm gonna re, we're going to revisit that one a little bit. Um, and I'm, we're going to talk about some experiences that some person, someone's had. So, and I'm excited for it. So this, this is a new step for the show because... Uh, We'll see where the interviews go, and we'll see where the topics go, and I hope the live discussions will allow um, us to connect more, and will allow us to talk more. Um, I'm also hoping to get some, I want to eventually get to positivity streams, um, like, when it's naturally coming up, because I want to do more meditations for everyone. I I had a huge meditation um, earlier, uh, on, um, what was it? No, the, the, the 23rd, I, the 3rd, yeah, the morning of the 23rd, or was it the 24th? No, it was the morning of the 24th, I, yeah, so yesterday morning, I woke up and I decided to do a meditation as the sun was rising, as we got a lot of light shining into our house, and I had a very powerful uh, meditation session there, I meditated on what was going on in Europe and around the world, and what we need to do, um, it made me realize, and the thing is, at that point in time, I realized what had happened this past week to me, um, because, and that's more what I'm going to get into, uh, into the beef of the episode, but, um, anyways, we will, uh, I want to, I want to become a united, I want everyone to be united in love and positivity, and, um, the episode last week, I had planned on, uh, is government necessary? Sounds like it could be very political and it could get very um, divisive. And I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. So that's why I decided to change. I led on a path um, last week, though, um, of division. And I felt lost and scared. And he was scared. Um, I'll be telling you about that. And I don't want... And if you don't want to be divided from me and my content and when I'll be going live, find my link tree in my bio... Where my podcast is, where my twi- you can find out where my Twitch channel is, where I'm going to be working on the No Man's Sky expedition, and re-listening to episodes of Six Letter to Earth, and hopefully eventually get into some positivity streams. 
Um, and if you want to know, if you want the most connection, you can get my Discord. You can join Nightmares' awesome Discord, where I have a uh, main chat where I post videos. I announce when I'm going to be doing things. And I think that's also where I'm going to give the preview of the topic that I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to start doing that on there exclusively. So if you want a heads up discussion beforehand, uh, my Discord is where we will be at on Sixth Letter to Earth podcast. So, anyways, um, like I said, uh, you can find me on all those sites. If you're on link, if you're in the Twitch channel, do exclamation point link tree, and then it'll all pop up there. Everything's there. Where to find the podcast? My TikTok and everywhere. You can find it everywhere. All right, guys. So let's get on to this episode. Welcome to Sixth Letter to Earth. And this week, okay, guys, let's just take a moment to talk about this week. And everything go like this is just scratching the surface of. I only I have three main things that are happening this week of that happened this past week of July July twenty second. Uh, first, we'll start with the positives. It's Palindrome Week. I don't know if you guys know this. It's Palindrome Week. So the days uh, was it the days of the week uh, backwards like for the twenties? It's all reversed backwards the same. So if you didn't know. That was awesome. We had the Tuesday, the Tuesday thing, which was just amazing. It was awesome. But let's be honest, we the past week has been covered by um we really been dealing with the Ukraine Russia war. Uh COVID again. We've been still dealing with COVID. And in my home country, the Emergencies Act was used to get rid of the freedom protesters on Parliament Hill. Now, the problem is the news has been so crazy. Let's be honest. The news has been absolutely nuts. And the problem is, is I said that we shouldn't be too connected to the politicians or the politics or to anything that we can't control. All right? And I, I strongly believe in that. I strongly believe in that. But here's the thing. I did. <laughs> I got obsessed with the issue of the truckers. The truckers got me hooked back into politics, and I fell for it. I fell hard for it. I I, I don't know what the truckers are. I'm not going to say if they are paid opposition or if they're... I, I personally feel, from what I've seen, that the truckers look to be on the right side. They seem peaceful. They seem loving. They, they seem to have all different kind of characters. It's people... It's the negativity... Where the negativity came from is outside people... Who aren't there. Um, that's why I like live streams. That's why I like live streams. Watching live streams. Because you can really see what's going on. And if you watch any of the live streams. That were inside. Of the protest. Uh, for the most part. It was very peaceful. And it didn't spew bad ideas. They were talking about love. And you don't even need to talk about it. Hell. Let's even take a step back. From that. Let's just ignore the protest itself. And let's ignore the issue. The protests. It's the act of it protesting there. That whole issue got to me. And they are debating about it. Because our Prime Minister uh, decided to enact the Emergencies Act. Which essentially uh, is made up from the Wars Measures, Act, which, Wars, Wars Measures Act. Which in a time of emergency allows the government to provide help to provinces who request it. And across Canada, and essentially can f- take funds, take assets, take anything to prevent an uh, event happening, or they could deploy the army or military or provide extra forces to police forces to handle a situation. Now, then that's the Emergencies Act. And it's only been enacted like three times before, but that's the Emergencies Act. The War Measures Act was enacted three times. World War One, World War Two, and the FLQ attacks, uh, which were was a French separatist group that was actually literally bombing government buildings. They so it makes sense that that obviously makes sense to call War Measures Act because government buildings are being bombed. But they called the War Measures Act uh, on the these guys, and 
I got like I'm, I got sucked in, because there's like, I got sucked into the whole thing. Um, and I will admit that. Like, look, I'm always still gonna fight for the side of freedom. All right, I'm always gonna still fight for the side of freedom. I'm always gonna say freedom should prevail. Um, I'm always gonna say that. I'm, I I can't, I can't say no. And everyone has the right to peacefully protest. Fair enough. And it is fair. But the thing I don't understand is how we can come around and turn around and say, oh, because of this. And here's the thing. Because of this event, I know some people were under the belief that these protesters had a plan to march into Parliament Hill and take Trudeau by gunpoint and say, forfeit the country or something like that. I don't know. They had some stupid... They had some... Stupid, but... Okay, let me rephrase that. I apologize. They had some idea that this these group of truckers were going to march into uh, Parliament Hill and do that. It's like, it's like some crazy ideas. But that's not what anyone had planned on doing. Everyone was just standing there to raise awareness. You know, I bet there was some... there, And I won't say, I won't doubt there might have been a few bad eggs. Alright, there might have been some lewd people who were yelling at citizens... Alright? And, you know, I get it. You, the honking was annoying. People staying in your downtown, stopping you from going to business, that's horrible. It sucks. Trade from blockades on the border. It, it, it's illegal. It becomes illegal. Which I absolutely agree. It is absolutely illegal, but the message behind it still stands true. Like, even if you don't believe in the mandate thing, the message behind it doesn't even matter. It's the fact that they were welcomed there first by the police. And they were sat there and nothing was done. Nothing was... They didn't try to clear them out. And when they finally try to clear them out, they don't use that much effort. And then they apparently need the War Measure Act to get them out. It's like... I don't think the police really actually tried the first one. Like... I think the one thing it may have done... The one thing with the War Measure Act... And this is a little conspiracy thing, so put Tim Fall hat on this one. This is a warning. I believe the War Measures Act was enacted so then the police could use their full force where it wouldn't look so bad on Trudeau. Um, I think, and the Ottawa police, so then people will still have faith in the police force. I honestly think that is why the National Emergencies Act was going. Because before it was enacted, people were getting their bank accounts frozen. Before it was enacted, there's they cleared out multiple... Uh, protests on bridges before the National Emergencies Act was done. Alright? So this is kind of where I kind of got divided, right? See, on one side, I was listening to it in the House of Commons and and the Senate. The pro... The, the conservatives, the Bloc Quebecois, they both agreed that, okay... Yes, maybe there, there's some ideas in there we didn't like. All right, and they, this is what they're debating. They're like, on one side, yes, they may have debated some ideas, and they may have seen some images that we do not like. But overall, this doesn't mean you can call in a this an emergency, a, a national emergency, when it's pretty much already done. Like, because by the t- they enacted the emergency and it was done, they were still voting on the house after the truckers were gone. And the emergency was cleared out. It's like, we don't need this emergency act for 30 days anymore. Like, I think Trudeau really cleared, like, revoked it to clear faith, because, clear his name, because I think he knows that if this had passed, if it had passed, this, like, through the Senate, which I was, I was listening to the Senate thing, and it's like, I don't know how it was going to go. So it's a good thing he revoked it, and I'm happy he did, because it makes sense. It should never have been a permanent thing, and it shouldn't have gone after, because there's no reason for it to be on afterwards. So you can see, I'm very passionate about this issue. Yeah, I am very passionate about this issue. Um, I don't think the National Emergencies Act needs to be invoked. I agree. Yeah, okay, the police, maybe it's time for them to take it down. All right? I didn't think there needed to be any violence. There, there, there was no need for violence. And I'm, you know, they cleared them out swiftly. And the, the thing is, the protesters... They didn't really fight with the police when the pro- when the police finally actually started using force, which is after the National Emergencies Act was done, enacted. Which, let's be honest, they should have probably done a little more effort beforehand. 
like to stop it. So, I'm, my whole my whole speech here today is about the whole tracker thing and all that. And I apologize. I, I don't want to talk too much more on this. But you can see how I got consumed and how passionate I was. I was watching videos and streams. I was just listening to everything about this trucker thing. But you know what it did? It kept me awake at night. It kept me like it kept me awake at night. It kept me watching my phone, watching my screen and I I was even starting to develop hate and anger and darkness in my body and it's like I didn't realize what I was doing until after Trudeau revoked the Emergency Act, I just realized how paranoid and I got because of this. And so and that's the thing. The the group of people who want us to be divided, I wouldn't be you know what if they, if someone said, Oh yeah, all these truckers were sponsored by out of out of country funds. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some foreign influence. Like, you know, from our good friends in the United States or China or Russia, you know. Maybe I wouldn't be Maybe it wouldn't be, it's not that far-fetched to think, right? It's not that far-fetched to think. I wouldn't be surprised because it really has divided Canadians. It's really divided. And I find it crazy because the news, the way the news portrayed the truckers when i seen on lives, I've seen it, like, lives, and I've seen, I've heard it from people who went there. It was nothing like the way the news was portraying it. It was nothing like that. So, and that's the problem is if you follow the news, you're getting a different set of stories than some people who don't watch the news. It literally feels like we're in two worlds. But the problem and the thing is, and we all need to get through, and this is something I still struggle with all the time, is you kind of need to meet in, you got to, not meet in the middle, but you got to realize we're each being shown different worlds. Once we can realize that we can respect that we have been shown different things and we believe different things and we can still work together for what's right that's where we're going to find unity and that's where we're going to be able to prosper as um people i don't want this oh sorry i don't want this podcast to become about news that never was my intention i didn't want to do another pol- political podcast i didn't want to do that that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to report on the truckers. I didn't want to report on all this stuff. But I feel it's important because of how passionate I got about it and how and how it just like how it affected me. And it wasn't until after I couldn't meditate during that time. I tried meditating and I prayed. I prayed a lot, but I couldn't meditate during that time. I finally stopped watching it. I fi- when it finally stopped and went away, I started reading or I started meditating and I got I got the message, and the message is that this divided you. This you you shouldn't have been this divisive. You gotta think of the light. Gotta think of the most positive situation, and not get sucked into one side or the other. The problem is, I got sucked into one side or the other. I'm not gonna say. I'm still not gonna say I'm wrong in my opinions. And I'm not even gonna hate. I'm not gonna hate the person across from me who's saying, "Yeah, those truckers should never have been there." Oh, wow, wow, wow! About the mask mandates and all that. I'm. I don't. You have your opinions. I have my opinions. The issue is, should our opinions be infringed on? Because here's the thing: if this had passed in the parliament, let's imagine if a protester of a different group, let's say, like. I'm not, I don't want to bring, let's say another protest group from the other side comes in, like, that's, I don't know, what, and let's say it gets a little violent, let's say, let's say someone actually breaks some windows, or something like that, actually starts setting things on fire, actually starts doing something a little intense, now, the government has, would have had the per- the prerequisite to be like, oh, well, these protesters are going to be a national threat because remember what the truckers did? Well, this is worse than what the truckers did. We can call a national emergency. I'm happy it didn't get pointed through. I'm happy. The House kind of has to answer for that. Like, the House is going to have to answer to why they voted in that way. I think, honestly. Um, Like, how could you agree to that? Because I know a lot on that 
side of the aisle, uh, who's politicized if you believe in the aisles, on one side that they they protest too. They do protest also. Right? They do protest too. And yeah, maybe it doesn't last as long. Alright? Uh, so there's some protests that last as long. But, why, like, why does the National Emergency Act have to be enacted now? Versus to that previous one. Right? I don't know. To me, that's where, and that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing, and I don't want to have to talk about it too much. This is this discussion we could talk about, uh, and in the end, it's, as long as you didn't donate to it, it seems like you should be fine. I hope. Because I didn't donate to them. I didn't donate to them. And I. Yeah. So you don't need to worry about that on my end. So I won't have my. But I was more afraid that they kept going deeper. They kept the emergency act on. Then they could have started looking at stuff. And I've openly supported the truckers. And even in this podcast. I openly supported it. Like, look at two episodes ago. I. I absolutely did. The problem is, is I got too obsessed with it and I let it divide me. I let it divide me and that's not good. I can't let I can't let it divide me. I can't I can't do that. So that's mainly the story about last week and then I meditated and I had a huge meditation session, you know? So again, I don't I had to do a lot of prayer to get out of the darkness and division that I was on. And I need to get in the path of light. So what does this mean? And why am I telling you this all? Why am I telling you all this? It's because they want to divide us. It was all meant to divide us. But I don't, I don't want to be divided. I love you all. Even those who disagree with my opinions. Even those who are just watching, shaking their head, looking in disgust like, Fuck, this guy's an idiot. You know, and you might be thinking that. I love you too. I sh- love everyone. Hell, maybe you're watching this later on. Maybe you're not watching. Wherever, wherever you are, I want to send positivity, love, and positivity. So I'm hoping at the end of this video, we can have a meditation. Maybe if I have a little bit of time, maybe I'll end with a meditation. We'll see how it goes on this podcast. But, it's a constant battle, guys. There's always, there, there, there's always going to be, find, they're always going to find a way to try to divide you. They're always going to try to find a way to make you feel hate. You need to turn away from the hate, and I'm going to turn away from the hate. I'm going to turn away from feeling anger and hate. And, uh, look, as long as you're not wishing harm... Physical harm on anyone. I support your ideas. I support you and uh, I want you to know you are entitled to having your opinions. But once it comes to harming someone. Physically harming someone. Or encouraging violence. And encouraging that. like, And actually having proof that it's a widespread thing. That that's the thing. Because I know a lot of people argue. Oh the truckers had a Nazi flag there. They had some mantras from some extremists. Okay, I was following a lot of these truckers. I was following these guys beforehand. And a lot of these guys are not there to overthrow the government. They're not supportive of Nazi symbolism. They're not. That's not what they're here for. And I I, I listen to it. I, I don't don't believe 100% of everything I said. But I am in there because I like seeing... What they're talking about. And it's interesting. I really don't think that we need to. I I really, I didn't see anywhere that they wanted to go in there and overthrow Justin Trudeau. Yeah, they wanted Justin Trudeau. They wanted Justin Trudeau to step down. They wanted Justin Trudeau to step down. I honestly think this will look bad on Justin Trudeau for and the Liberals and the NDP. For what they were, what they were trying to push. They were trying to push something that was could have gave him full control just to quash dissent and ideas that you didn't like. 
Well, newsflash, if you want to be free, you got also that means you also have to have the opinions that you don't like. I'm sorry. That's I, and that's something I have to go through too. It's something I have to go through too. You are entitled to think that oh, the government was in the right, and you have every right to do that. But you know, if this had gone through, what it could have meant is the government could be like, well, these guys could be spreading some dissent, which could be a national emergency. So I guess we should call so we can squash new ideas. I know people are probably saying, oh, chicken little sell down. But that, how else are we supposed to look at it? Tell me. When you look at what happened this way, how else can you look at it? Like, were they causing a national emergency? When the thing that could have been declared for a national emergency was the border crossings. That, I see, maybe that could have been kind of. Infrastructure, I guess, like, that's what it is. Like, the the border crossings, they could, have, they could have said that was more of a national emergency than just Ottawa. Maybe a state of emergency, or the city could have stated an emergency. They could have. I, I, I was following. It didn't look like the police tried it that hard, and they were really treating them with kid gloves for a majority of the time. From what I seen, you might see something different. You might see something different. I don't know. As for the whole issue, I'm ready to let go. And I'm ready to end end fighting about it. Because, honestly, uh, I don't want to fight about it. I think, and I want to move towards positivity and be united. And I thank the Lord, the Divine, the Creator for giving us life. Um, I'm going to be doing a meditation to send positivity and love to you wherever you are and wherever and whenever you may be listening to this. I'm going to play a little non-copyright meditation music after and uh, we will I'll do a little meditation to end this uh, stream. So, just to go, and I don't know if it'll get cut off. It might get cut off, but we'll go from there. Um, but I want to send love to you. I love you all. Remember, We support the F word here. We support the F word here, guys. Because F is the sixth letter to Earth. The sixth letter is F. The F word. I love the F word. You know what the F word stands for? And I even did this before any of this happened. You can see it. This name of this podcast has always been sixth letter to Earth. And the sixth letter is F. And the F word is freedom. Freedom. And that even means freedom to have ideas that you don't agree with. Freedom to have ideas that you do not agree with. But, majorly, I wish for freedom to the world. Freedom to you. And most importantly, the most important one. Freedom to your mind. Alright guys, so, um, I am going to finish this off with the meditation. Um, I don't know what the next week's topic is going to be about. I might have those interviews and I might work it out there with the interviews, but we will see how it goes. I'm going to end this podcast with a meditation. Um, and we're going to go from there. All right. Thank you. And we'll, I'll see you at the meditation part. Welcome to bonus uh, meditation. Um, I'm going to do a prayer for everyone here. Um, I hope the music is not going to be too overpowering. Um, I hope not, but if you can't hear it, just put in your own meditation music on and um, hopefully just get the message and feel that in there. So I might not get through the entire thing um, just because uh, of time restraint, but we will see. How it goes. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the music and we will. I'll start my meditating. Okay. Last drink before 
I go? Okay. I'm gonna take off my glasses. To get ready to do this. Okay, so Gabriel sit still for a little bit. I am gonna try to sit still with the heater on. So I'm getting a little chilly. But the heater's right by me so I can really make it work. Alright. A second, I guess I should have gotten this really set up for myself when before I started recording. Oh, that's okay. Breathe slowly in through your nose and out your mouth. Try to hold it as long as you can and go slow. Start feeling yourself being alone in your square that surrounds your body, wherever you are. With your eyes closed, sit with your hands on top of your knees, palms facing up. I want you to receive some positivity today. around you. Nothing else matters except your square. You don't have to meditate if you don't want. Just listen to my voice as I pray for everyone. pray to whoever you want to pray, alright? I pray to the Creator. You may call him Jesus Christ, God, whatever you call him. Thank you, Creator, for giving me light and showing me the way, showing me the positivity and spirituality. Thank you for giving me the strength to get through the battle of negativity that I had today, or this week. Thank you for saving me from going down a deep path of divisiveness. I like to send positive energy and love to everyone listening to this today, or whenever they may be listening to this. everyone can receive light, positivity, and love. Send positive energy and love to Europe. For the events going on over there. events we may not see, as there may be many battles we don't know. Give us the strength to be light warriors, to show positivity, love thy neighbor, not be afraid, and not get dragged into the fight. Stay new. 
control, but stay safe. Love is the only way. Don't allow things to divide you from your fellow man. Don't allow them to think that it's okay to harm. It's not, don't harm anyone, don't hurt anyone. allow your don't allow yourself to be convinced it's for the greater good to hurt someone or kill someone if your message is telling you to do that it is a divisive message and it's a trick from the evil ones We will not accept negative thoughts. We will not accept negativity. We will not accept hatred and dark souls to enter our body. We repel them. We we will allow positivity and love to enter our souls, taking away all the evilness in our body. Take a deep breath in, fill your lungs with positive air, and lift your body up. your hand over your heart allow all your positive thoughts to go into your soul to your being allow to only express love and positivity for your fellow man down to your stomach lock into your body, your body will be positive, it will feel good ailments that may bring you down will feel better and finally you can disconnect let's see if that even lasted the entire thing oh, we have a minute remaining love you all and I hope uh, this meditation has been good for you and can't wait to see you guys on the next one love you all